Hi, welcome to Look Closer. Well, today I'm out chasing peacock spiders again, but instead of teaching you how to find them this time, we're going to focus in on one particular species, Muratus spicatus, the blue and yellow peacock spider. So today, rather than give you generalities about all the different peacock spiders, I thought we'd just focus in on one of the particular species, that's Muratus spicatus. We're going to teach you how it got its name, where it lives, and what makes it different from all the 80 odd other species of peacock spiders. Now before we get to searching, let's tick a few boxes off. First of all, are we looking at the right time of the year? Are we even going to find them in colour? So this species has a fairly long season. It starts in May and goes through to October. Since we're in June now, we can tick that box off. All right, the weather and the time of the day. I think it's about oh, 11 o'clock in the morning, so it's coming into siesta time, but we should still see a few things around. But the weather is just beautiful. We've got about 24 degrees, patchy sun coming through some clouds, so it's not too hot, not too cool. I think we'll be pretty right on the weather, so we can tick that box as well. Habitat. Now I've been here before, so I know that there are spicatus here, so I'm cheating a little bit. But if we have a little look at the habitat, I'll show you what I've found. As you can see, this is a pretty degraded habitat. Any native understory plants have been cleared many, many years ago, and all that's here now is introduced grasses and other weeds. But functionally, what is here is pretty good for spics. It has low structural complexity and plenty of the open areas of quartz sand that the spics seem to like. Now that we've got the box ticking out the way, I think it's time to get searching. All right, well, I've been searching for a while now and I have located some of our target species, so that's good news. While all this habitat looks pretty much the same, there seems to be a cluster of spicatas just here, like in a, a 10 metre radius or so. I don't know why they do that, but they just seem to. It's just the way they work. So anyway, let's have a look at what we found. So this is it. This is spicatus, the blue and yellow peacock spider. Overwhelming, isn't he? I know, he's a small black speck. The spicks are one of the smallest species of peacocks, especially the boys, which are only two to three millimetres when they're fully grown. When you see them for the first time, they look more like fleas look, than spiders. So if they're little black specks, how did it get its name? Well, that's because when you get up really close, this little black speck has amazing blue and yellow markings on his back. Well, that all makes sense. But how about that other name I keep using, spicatus? Well, that's its scientific name. The word spicatus is just the Latin word for spiky, and it refers to the short, spiky black and white hairs around the edge of the boy's bum. He uses these as part of his display. Speaking of displays, we're not going to get to see one unless we can find a girl as well. All right, here's a girl spicatus. She's a bit bigger than the boys, and like every other peacock species, she looks as plain as cold toast. Or at least she does to us. So what I'm gonna do is just shoo them around a little bit so that they can see each other. Let him figure out if he's gonna have a dance or if he's gonna to retreat to a safe distance. All right, here we go. You'll see that this species raises his abdomen to dance, but he hasn't got those flaps at the side that some species have. Instead, he has those spiky little hairs that give him his name Spicatus. Another thing that's a bit different to typical peacock behaviour is that he doesn't use his legs to dance like some species do. For him, it's all about the butt waving. Now this fella's decided that he's better off retreating than pressing his luck any further. But this couple has decided to take the next step. While we obviously missed what must have been a fine dance, this isn't something we're likely to see in the wild too often. Well, I think that's been a pretty successful expedition. We've found our species, we've seen the dance, and we've even got to see the mate, which is pretty unusual. But it's five o'clock now, the sun's going down, and all the spiders are putting themselves to bed. So I think it's time for us to head off, and we'll see you next time. Do you reckon I should include this bit? Maybe I'll stick it at the end.